Yeah, once you've made the main parts of your robot and you're kind of happy with it, you have to make sure you put in the, uh, I'm going to include this in the video, but obviously add a, uh, a blend or some kind of material to make it look more interesting than just gray. If you want to also uh, do some UV mapping, may be a good idea since I said this is kind of like the summative of the unit, uh, although I do look at all the work that you've done. So now one of the things you need to do is, because when we're going to export this, it won't actually export properly. Uh, it'll not look smoothed out. So we, we want our model in the game engine to be smoothed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on modify, go to convert. And what we want to do here is smooth mesh preview to polygons. So now it's going to convert this. So once this is done, uh, it will be able to, uh, to do, to look this way. Just realized I hadn't selected it, so I'll do that again. So modify, convert, and what we're looking for is smooth mesh preview to polygons. All right, so now this is what my character will look like when I export them. So you may uh, want to do your UV mapping now. Uh, that that might be the better time to do it is now that everything's been smoothed out and you know exactly what it'll look like. Keep things simple. I'm just going to go to uh, Hypershade editor and just give them a quick blend. It looks robotic, but you may want to uh, do some UV mapping uh, for enrichment. I will just wait for this to open up. A little slow. All right, so I open this up. So I'm going to go and click here and click on so I can see it. And I'm going to go and get a blend. And again, you may choose to do UV mapping, and that's fine. I just want to give them a color or something. I'll make my robot blue, and, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Just a go quick, so sort of have this. There you go. So I'm happy with that. Whoops. Press Enter might help. Okay, so I'm going to close this. I'm happy with the, this look. Okay, I just before you export the oops, you want to make sure that you have the robot put at, at let's go in object mode here just for a second. And you know, maybe your robot's over here or whatever. And uh, I asked people to do this, maybe they didn't think of it, but make sure he's at uh, zero, zero, zero. So, what you want to do is double check and just move them up here and um, I'll move them down a little bit but basically at the origin point so that when you bring him into the game he's just kind of more or less centered so that's kind of important so we're going to go back to here and now you got to make sure you've selected them all right so whenever um, all I'll just go uh, So if it's in object mode, it doesn't export properly. So you put it in face mode and so everything is selected uh, and select all and file. So we want to, there's a few ways to export it, but the way that works best with the program we're going to use is OBJ. All right. So we're going to export the selection and we're going to call it uh, robot three or something like that. Cause I've done it a few times on my computer. You can call it whatever you want robot somewhere and make sure you see where it's exporting and here you have to select obj export okay so i'm going to click export and now it should be exported so i'm going to go to my finder and go and find my robot 3. so here's the tricky part kind of so the problem is there's two files so if you don't import this one you won't have the texture and the uv map so what we have to do is select both. So this one and this one and zip them. So I right click and I'm going to click compress. And what it'll do is it's going to create a compressed file archive. Now this is the file that we're going to be uploading to the next program that we're going to use. Okay. So I'm going to go to that program and it's called Mixamo. And so you go to Mixamo.com. So here M-I-X-A-M-O. 
And you're going to use your school Google account. Just click Create Account with Google. And what we're going to be doing here is animating this character. So I'm going to click Upload My Character. And obviously, what do you upload? It's actually the zip file. So not because you have to zip it. Otherwise, you'll lose the look. of your. So I'm going to go get it. And uh, open. So this will come in. And make sure there's no gaps. If there is, got to go back to Maya and fix them because uh, you went a little quick, too quickly before you exported it. So just do it the same way. So it's really important that you place everything in the, in the right spot. And if you put everything at origin 00, zero it should be fairly uh, straightforward. Then you're going to put the elbows in, the knees. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then click next. And this usually takes a minute or two, so I'm going to pause it. All right, so here's your character. So now he's brought into the game. and um, it's up to you to go and get uh, the animation that you want. So I'm going to go and do dancing bear or dancing character. And I don't know, I'll, I'll just pick one that looked like it could be funny in, inside the game. It looks like the site is frozen here. Okay, so I picked this one here. I think there's a way to make him stay in place here. Enable skeleton view. Let's see this. Oh, you don't want that. You uh, pan, zoom, reset camera, toggle follow camera. Okay, so the camera follows the action as he does it. And you can move this around a little bit too and play around with these settings. Uh, this, you know, because sometimes it may not look totally natural based on your robot. And so you need to like play around with these. So for now, we only want one animation. And what we're going to do is once we're happy with it, we're going to download it. And we're going to download it now as an FBX. And we want the skin. So that means the color that you added. And if you zipped it properly, that shouldn't be a problem. So we're, now we're going to download this. And again, this file is going to download on your PC. Uh, it might be a good idea to... Uh, save this. Uh, and the other thing you may want to do is do a few screen grabs of your character so that you can upload it and include uh, this in your uh, portfolio of work. Uh, and I, I would say, recommend also possibly if you're ahead, uh, do a video. So use Screencast-O-Matic and you can do up to a three minute video using Screencast-O-Matic and it's spelt the way it's screen cast o matic and you can do a video all right so this robot is now ready to be used in the video game that we're going to be working on uh, later